We're gonna hit Tatooine, and then we're gonna hit Dantooine, and then we'll come back to Manon. Maybe I'll stop by Yavin. Tatooine first. Aw, oh, you freaking kidding me. Oh, this is way better. Oh shit, console's way better. Oh, I hate this. I still hate this. Still jank is. Frick. Okay. Um, not as jank, but I'm bad at this, apparently. Shit. God, I'm bad at it. I've always been so bad at this game. This mini game, I mean. And we died. Ah. Is that the quick save? I think that's the quick save that I... Incoming fires! Having my brightness turned up to help. Where the frick are you, things? Ah, oh, crap. Where are you? That one coming for me. Freaking time. Where the hell are you? Okay. Where is that one? Oh, thank God. Skip that. I freaking hate this. Okay, I'm quick saving because I hate it when I get that mini game. Even on console, it's still jank. Okay, so Basila and Mission it is. It's been donkey's year since we took them. On anything. Wait, does Juhani have one? What is Juhani's thing? Blood from Terrace, Billy Bindo, Basil's mother, Mission for the Republic, Anderus, Stowaway, Blood Hiring Mercenaries, Mission's brother. Okay, can I talk to. Didn't Juhani have something? How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Do you have more to say? I was wondering if we could talk. Uh, tell me more about your past. Tell me more about your past. Yes. I mentioned before that my parents had fled to Taris. Perhaps I can tell you about that. Uh, go on. In the early days of the Mandalorian War, there had been fighting closer to the Outer Rim worlds. Near the world your species comes from? Your people are in the region? Cathar was there, yes. My people had a great reputation as warriors, and that appealed to the Mandalore version of honor they mm. sought to test themselves against us i think test themselves by bombing our world slaughtering my people while they slept or while they ran uh how did it happen <sighs> um 
how did it happen? They swooped down from space across the world, firing at anything that moved. They used ships in space to destroy all orbital facilities and bombard the surface. We did resist. And in spite of their violent attack, we did stave them off for quite a while. But in the end, we were doomed. Hmm. Why did the Republic... The we know why they didn't help, and that is what you get for being unprepared. Jedi could have helped. Um, the, I hate all three of these answers, that's why I'm going to go with three, because why did the Republic not help you? That is like... Oh, people like that drive me nuts when they're like, why didn't the government help? And I'm like, why do you think they would have helped? Why do you think a bunch of career politicians would try to help? Unless there's an incentive for them, or it's, or there's something in it for them, they're not going to. Oh, a judge mailed stuff, huh? Okay. Okay. I really just hate all these answers. Um, that's what you get for being unprepared. I'm going with that one. Oh. Our interstellar communications Whoops. were the first things the Mandalores hit. All other short-range communicators were jammed. We were on our own. We knew what was coming. We had fought the Mandalorians in the first war against Exar Kun and the Sith. We knew there would be no mercy for us. The most we could do was pack the few of our people who survived onto what few ships remained uh. and send them off into space as fast as they could. Most did not make it. Um. But you survived. My parents carried me as a baby with them and were lucky enough to escape. They fled as far as they were able and eventually settled on Taris. They could stand running no further, I think. But Taris was a horrible choice. Dominated by humans, intolerance of other species, made everyday life unnecessarily hard. Um. Uh, how did your family cope? My father, my father turned to stimulants. Mm. He spent much of his time in local bars and dives. But we are warriors. It runs through our blood. And when he was on stims, he, he, he became foolish. He let his warrior nature get the best of him. So he would get intoxicated and he would fight. And finally, one day, he would die. He died? Ah, uh, that's tragic. Yeah, that is tragic. I don't need your sarcasm. Uh, I, I didn't know that was going to be interpreted as sarcasm. He died at the hands of another. Killed. By a man who provoked him into a fight and killed him like an animal. I, I am sorry. I, I cannot talk about this any longer right now. Okay. So, uh, how she lived a uh, sensitive issue. You might. Okay. So I probably have to get more out of her. Can I get more out of her now? How may I be of assistance? Let me talk. What is it you would like? What happened after your father died? After my father died. Okay, I can't ask you more. to support me alone. A single non-human woman living in one of the worst, most violent slums on Terrace. It was not easy for her. Um, what happened? When my father was killed, it seemed that something in her began to die as well. She worked. Mm. She worked as hard as she was able. But over time, she began to waste away. I later learned that she was unable to get enough money to feed both of us and had to start borrowing from the exchange. Oof. A band of cutthroats and smugglers. But even that was not enough. She hid what she was doing from me. She gave most of her food to me so that I would be strong, but she herself was suffering deeply from it. In the end, she could go on no longer and collapsed at the cantina where she worked one day. Oh, what did you do for her? Um, surely there was a doctor. Uh, how did she die? She never recovered. Did she die? The 
there was nothing really that I could do for her. She left me no money, and no doctor would see her without being paid first. I sat by her bed for days as she lay there dying. I never want that to happen to someone I care about ever again. But there was still the money she had borrowed. She had never paid it back and made no provisions for her death. You must understand, the exchange is brutal. They care nothing for the life of a sentient being. They are the major suppliers of slaves on Paris. You were enslaved? They thought it would be appropriate that, with my mother owing them money, the debt should be passed on to me. And with no way to pay, they took me by force. You have no idea what this is like to be bound like a beast and treated as such. It was the worst time of my life. They treated me like livestock. They were waiting for a buyer to give them some credit for me when the Jedi came to fight the Mandalorians. Uh, how could... Uh, and they freed you? The Jedi could not abide by what they saw there and drove the exchange from the face of the world, freeing those of us imprisoned there. But the Jedi soon left to fight their war, and I was left with a dream. Uh, what did you do? I swore that I would become a Jedi. As soon as I had enough money to do it, I bought passage on a freighter headed for Dantooine. We both know what has happened since then. Uh, you became a Jedi. Turned away from the dark side. Nahani. They became a Jedi. I am grateful to you for having given me the opportunity to fulfill my dream rather than become what I hated. Someday, I may make it up to you. But for now, let us keep on the task at hand. Can I talk to you more? How may I be a... What is it you would like to speak? Oh, I guess I'll ask you, Daniel Bride. Well, I suppose. As well as I can. But I am more interested in you right now. Do not mistake me. It is just that even though we have traveled together for a while, it seems I know next to nothing about you personally. Mm -hmm. What do you want to know? We have been traveling together since Dantooine, but I know nothing of you before that. Would you... Would you humor me and tell me a little bit about yourself? What is there to tell? It's not a very interesting story. Well, it is, of course, the greatest story ever told. Jeez. Nah. Oh, uh, what is there to tell? Uh, it is not a very interesting story. Huh. Humility. Please, if you would, indulge me. Your job, your childhood, your life, your family. I am sorry if I am making you uncomfortable. I will fully understand that you choose not to answer. No, it's all right. Sorry, my life is my own business. Damn right, it's none of your business. No, it's all right. I greatly appreciate your taking the time to talk to me. How did you come to be on Dantooine? Besides the obvious, of course. Well, I rescued Basil on Terrace. I was in the Republic fleet that was destroyed over Terrace. Uh, I flew to Dantooine? Jeez. <laughs> He's kind of cracked me up. Um, yeah, I was with the Republic fleet that destroyed over Terrace. Terrace. It always seems to come back to Terrace for me. I am sorry. I, I, I get distracted. What did you do before ta before that? I was a scout for the Republic Armed Forces. A life in the army. Not my career of choice, though. We Cathar cannot seem to adjust to regimented organizations like the military. But in a way, it does seem to have its own romantic appeal. Defending the galaxy from evil, much as we Jedi do. So, in a way, I suppose we are more alike than not. But again, I seem to be wasting your time with my, my carrying on. I apologize. I have been watching you. Oh. And I cannot help but feel that you are becoming more distant. When we met, it was you that convinced me to turn away from the lure of the dark side. But now it seems that you are falling into the trap that had caught me. What? Shut the... <laughs> uh, what? No, please. I must speak. When we first met, 
I looked at you with contempt. You were some insect sent by the Jedi Council to eliminate me. But you are more powerful than I ever would have thought. It seemed so easy for you to overcome me. You are more of a challenge than you think. My mission was only to cleanse the grove. Uh... Yes, it was. And this is just the problem. You seem to revel in your power. Use it uh. far too frequently for your own gain. I, but I we have to f have I funding for this mission. Maybe starting to fall. If only there were some way I could turn you away from the path that you seem to be headed down. I wonder if it started when you met me in that grove. I wonder if it could be my fault. Uh, not, no, I... No, I was doing a lot of shady shit on terrace uh we have to make our own choices no of course not you overestimate your effect on me jeez um we each make our own choices johanny that is true but still i worry about the ones you make but i have faith in you i would follow you into battle with malik himself i will stand by your side How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Anything else? Can what I talk? What is it you would like to speak to me about? Nothing. Of course. Okay. If there is... Okie dokie. Let us see, what do we have? Okay, now that I've exhausted our dialogue... Hmm. Let's take Bastila. I will switch it up, but let's see. Do we have... Locking bay mechanic. Aha! Oh, what... What the hell is your kind doing here? Bad enough I have to deal I, with all these other What is other the pink Twi'lek doing here? Now there's a stinking Cathar on this world, too? I have as much right to be here as you do, sir. Uh, do not seek to agitate us. Just ignore him. A big mouth like that can get you killed. Uh, do you seek to aggravate us? Yeah. Ooh, big woman. The Jedi shooting her mouth off from behind a lightsaber. Or whatever you're carrying, hiding behind your pet cat there. And a woman at that. We should have exterminated all you cat there when we had the chance. What? What do you know about my world? I know enough to... Hey, wait a minute. You look familiar somehow. What? You... You know each other? This doesn't concern you, Jedi trash. Hmm. Now where could I have... No, he's dead and she likely is too. I... What are you talking about? Maybe I was wrong. Still, I think a specimen like you would be a nice addition to oh. my collection. So, what would it take, Jedi, for you to sell your pet here oh, to me? Oh, shit. It's not for sale. Well, what are you off? Oh, my God. Honestly, I don't like Johanny, so... She is her own person. Well, what are you offering? Let me hear out the offer. We need the money. <laughs> I knew we could work something out. I am not for sale. Now don't be so selfish. We both know Cathair aren't real people anyway. The Oof. females make amusing pets. But the males should be put down like the animals they are. I remember one time on Tarsus. Oh no. What? What did you say? You were on Terrace? Calm down. You were on Terrace? What did you do on Terrace, you scum? Put one of you down like the animals you are. So easy. Then I saw one of the females on the auction block. <sighs> but those darn Jedi. It was you. What? Me? Oh, oh, now I recognize where I've seen that face before. You were the little cat there I was going to purchase. But those Jedi came and stole my pet away from me. You bought Johanny? Uh, you were buying Cathar? 
Well, what are you talking about? When I was fighting with the Mandalorians against the Cathar, I developed an appreciation for these creatures. They make excellent servants if properly trained. You Jedi act all prim and proper, but inside you must feel the same way I do about the lesser, non-human species. The Sith You're not human either. What are outside. you talking about? Come now. Will you let your pet go? I'm sure we can come up with a price we both think is fair. You only heard of my letter. Show me the money first. Oh my god. Um. If I say three, will I have the option to back out? That's the thing. Show me the money no, first. I will not be sold, and I will see you dead for what you have done to my people. Uh, hold on a second. D don't be hasty. Do not fall to the dark side again. There is no emotion. Uh, let's get him. <laughs> let's get him. I yeah. Let's give in. Yes, we will. No, no, no. I must not fall prey to the dark no, side do again. No, do it. My lust do it. Must do it. No, curved. do it. Yes. yes. Do it. Say no to the dark side. But no, I say yes to the yet. dark side. Ah! What? What? He just evaporated. What? Why does the pink, pink Twi'lek have teleportation abilities? What? Oh, Juhani's gonna be pissed. I was, I was wondering if it's possible to successfully sell her. My Cathar blood seethes at the thought of that man still running free. I cannot stand still when I think about it, but... But I will not give in to the dark side, either. He will pay for his crimes, though. He will most likely be following us. Me. If we could find him first, then he may not be able to set in motion whatever he has in store for us. Hmm, okay. Is there, is there a journal entry on this? You have learned that after a father died, Johanny has been sold into slavery when the Jedi came on to Terrace, they freed her and the other slaves as soon as she was able. She left to find the Jedi and train with them. That is what brought her to the Antoine she may yet have stories to tell. Perhaps you should ask her later. Is there another one? Johanny ran into a being named I don't know how to say it who bears her race a special grudge. He was a member of the fleet that attacked and destroyed her home world. Whoops. Uh, where was I? Home world. Cathar, uh, but was crippled during the fight. He has since tried to take out his pain on all Cathar he could find. When Juhani had been sold into slavery for her parents' debt, he was, he was one of the ones who tried to purchase her. Revan's army stopped him that time. But he was not. But he has not forgotten her. He has sworn to get his revenge upon her people and her people. Uh, upon her and her people. And you don't know when or where he'll strike next. Johanny, though, lusts for his blood. Good. Maybe I, if I can't sell her, perhaps I can make her turn to the dark side. All oh, right. Party selection. Hmm. Human woman, I'm outraged at your arrogance. You, 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 all of your species place yourselves on such a pedestal. Sorry, what are you talking about? Um, yeah, I don't like your tone. Yeah, see, that same attitude. Don't even talk to me. Look, she had. Uh, I swear. Um, Helena, you must... Must be your word. Or pit rancor. What? Is not your brother's name? 
Uh, isn't that your mother's name, Basla? Her mother was supposed to be here somewhere. Ask if they've seen her. Seen her. You men, you couldn't miss her if you tried. She strolled into the canteen like she owned the place. Uh, okay, she's still there, probably. Um, anyone else? To top her, any her attitude, so you wouldn't leave. I doubt she wants to be kept waiting. Actually, looking for her, you humans. You're all out of your minds. Um, okay, that was a strange conversation. Is that the mother? The mother looks awfully young. Yeah. I'm sorry, do I know you? I'm here, mother. But don't you recognize me? What do you expect when I haven't so much as had a picture of you since you left? Hmm. Good point. Do you point. know how long I've been trying to find you? You knew as well as I communication would be impossible once I joined the Order. Now what is this about? Where's father? Then you haven't heard. I should have known. Has something happened to him? Are you going to tell me or not? Your father is dead, I see. That is part of the reason why I was looking for you. Dead? What happened? What did you do to him? Isn't this a lovely reunion? Already she's flinging insults at me. <laughs> tell me, you're one of her friends. Do you treat your mother this way? My mother is long dead, if you must know. Hey, leave me out of this. Only if she deserves it. Only if she deserves it. Ah, uh, she's long dead. Let's go with that. Well, I'll be joining her soon enough, I suppose. I was told you were sick. Are you actually dying, or is this merely melodrama for my benefit? Such sweet things, you say. Well, perhaps I should tell you everything first before we start arguing again. You could start by telling me what you got father into that killed him. I hadn't realized Jedi was so spiteful. <laughs> You want me to tell you I brought your father here for an expedition, do you? You want to blame me for his death? You never accepted that your father loved going on his treasure hunts, leaving you alone with me. I was always to blame for everything. What else is new? So yes, fine. I brought your father here to look for crate dragon pearls. He took an expedition into the Tatooine Desert, and he died. How can you be sure of that? Father is an experienced do you think I would hmm. look for you if I wasn't sure? They were attacked by a crate dragon, and one of the guides fled the battle. He saw your father killed. I see. So what do you want from me? Credits. Oh, don't be insulting. I want you to use those senses of yours. I want you to find him. I want you to bring back his holocron. Why? So you can sell it. Is it too much to ask that I have something to remember your father by? Of course it is, isn't it? You couldn't be bothered. We're very busy on a mission from the Jedi Council. I doubt I'll have the time. Ask my companions if you doubt me. Um, why don't you get the holocron yourself? Yeah. As my daughter is quick to point out, I haven't the coin to hire another expedition. Nor am I the adventurer my husband was. Uh, don't you want to find your father's remains? What about your mother's sickness? Uh, uh you want to find his what remains? Great dragons are huge predators, easily able to devour a human, and the desert is a harsh environment. Finding my father's remains would be an even more impossible task than finding his holocron. An ignoble end to a fine man. Mm. What about the sickness? It doesn't seem to have anything to do with what she's asking. Are you actually sick, mother? What difference does it make to you? None, I'm sure. Just find your father's holocron, and you won't have to worry about me again either way. That's the kind of response I would expect. Very well. We'll look for the holocron if we have time. I can't promise any more than that. I believe your father was headed north towards the Sand People Enclave. I would check along that route, dear. Do please hurry. Um. I'm here. All right. Um, isn't the bro- is the brother in the hunting lodge? Honestly, can't remember. 
Greetings again from the offices of Zerga Corp. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, I was looking for a miner named Griff. Griff? Uh, there's no Griff here. Never heard of him. No, I, I don't remember a single Griff on the Zerka Corporation payroll. Um, first persuade. You want to tell me about Griff? Can you spare me a few moments? I have something I want to get off my chest. I want to tell you about one of our workers. His name was Griff. We hired that Twi'lek some time ago. Not a good worker, according to his crew chief. Huh. He was complaining and faking injuries to get out of work. He entered false timesheets and slept through his shifts. We even suspected him of stealing Zerka Corporation supplies, although we could never prove it. Yes, that sounds like him. We would have fired him, but we needed workers. It would have been better for him if he had been fired. Then the sand people wouldn't have gotten him. Oh, the sand people. He was lost in a sand people raid we suffered not too long ago. There were prisoners taken, but our rescue parties never found anyone alive. In the end, it just wasn't cost effective to keep searching. All miners sign mm. a waiver absolving Zerka Corporation of liability in these circumstances. Your workers are to the sand people kill Griff or not, so your workers are expendable. Well, that's the, that's how companies treat people. They're just numbers on a page. Uh, did the sand people kill Griff or not? We didn't find his body, so we have okay. to assume he was taken prisoner. Whether he's still alive, I couldn't say. That's all I can tell you. I shouldn't even have said this much. This is all privileged corporate information. I could lose my job. Is there some type of reward for saving him? As I said, all employees have signed waivers oh, of the corporation of any financial liability if this occurs. It is the industry standard. I suppose you could apply for a special dispensation from the Zerka Corporation representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours only, please. Mm, okay. Farewell. That's Zerka what I need to know. Welcomes your future inquiries. Yay, okay. Okay, so I now know that I have to go and Go to the other two previous places, and I can take care of the Jawas. Because I never got, um, the Jawa rescue mission. Because that gives you credits, I think. I'll do that, too. Hmm? Oh, it's you again. And I'll just let you pass. Good hunting out there. Good hunting out there. Boy, he says that gets me every time. Okay, I think we're gonna pause it there for today.